Black Rose Dragon and number 107. These are going to be absolutely beautiful pieces. I'm begging the 30% of you guys have not smashed living crap out of that subscribe button. Smash it so we can get to 103,000. Normally I don't cover figure news like this, but I did want to say that a piece like this is just... This is too amazing. Look at this, ladies and gentlemen. This Black Rose absolutely amazing and even down here below you get the little black garden with this too you know i also want to you know throw out there that the secondary market on figures is absolutely crazy all right i don't normally mention stuff like that either but full details aside um in terms of collectability at least the black rose i think is a piece that you're going to want to have for your collection i actually have the black luster soldier i actually haven't taken it out of the box yet but from what i've seen that figure is absolutely amazing i am guaranteeing you oh man look, look at the detail on this black garden holy crap man like the the non-color scaling versions of these are absolutely amazing and i mean these things are probably going to cost like 200 dollars. i know that's a lot for some players out here but for people out here that are genuine collectors well i'm not I, I understand that number 107 is fantastic, right? This thing is sick looking. But I don't know if I'm going to be, like, super intrigued by 107 in terms of what it is. All right, I understand, yeah, this this actually looks nice. But I don't know, man. In terms of what the figure's supposed to look like, that, that, that does pop really freaking nicely, actually. It's also supposed to include... The overlay units? Is that what I was reading here? Additionally, since Galaxy Eyes Tachyon Dragon is an indeed an exceed monster, an additional accessory of overlay network materials will also be included in this source. Highly recommend that you watch the video, see the models rotating in the 3D dimension. So I'll leave a link down below for this so you guys can check this out. But I just wanted to say here, I think in terms of collectability, if you're somebody out here, that loves these artwork um, pieces, you know, if you're a collector. I think the Black Rose is an absolute must. If you're absolutely a fan of, you know, Kaito's number 107, I don't particularly think that this piece is for me, but that Black Rose is absolutely amazing. And, you know, these artwork figures out here. I also, man, they also did this Sido Kaiba figure a very long time ago. I've I've seen pictures of this. They also did the Arcana Dark Magician as well, which honestly, as a piece, I'm also not a super big fan of that. I do like the fact that you can see, you know, some of the good transitions and things. The links, yeah, you can't even find it on here at the moment. Arcana appears. All right, I, oh, here we go. Two corporation set figures, a little Bakora and the Dark Magician. I, once again, this is supposed to be $158. You're probably going to be paying $200 out of this. But, ladies and gentlemen, once again, if you're a fan of collectability in terms of the figures, Yu Gi Oh! is doing a lot of cool stuff this year in terms of figures. Like, actually, like this, the Black Crows, you know, the Seto Kaiba stuff that they've done in the past. Not a super big fan of the Bakora and Nendoroid, but once again, every bitten piece of the market has its own niche, and there's nothing wrong with that. Well, yeah, All right, guys, are you gonna pick up one of these figures down below? Leave a comment, tell me. I, I honestly love kind of gauging my community and see what interests that you guys have. And I will, in fact, see your beautiful faces back here later on day with some more cool awesome content. Peace out, guys. Patrons, thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Check out these other videos.